Browns and Jets home opener at First Energy Stadium Sunday at 1 o'clock. Let's do some things to watch. Mary Kay, get us started. I'm going to go with Jacoby Brissett. He really needs to pick up his game. He did not have a good debut. Pulled it out in the end, but they really need to get it together in the passing game. He needs to connect with Amari Cooper. He needs to connect with David Njoku. He will be going against two pretty good cornerbacks for the Jets in Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed. DJ Reed only gave up, didn't give up any catches on five targets last week in their loss to the Ravens. And Sauce Gardner, the number four overall pick, uh, gave up two catches for 19 yards on four targets over 29 coverage snaps. So these guys are a lot better uh, than they were in the back end last year. Big challenge for Jacoby. Ashley, what about you? My thing to watch is going to be this Jets run defense against the Browns run game. Of course, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt had pretty good season debuts. This is obviously one of the strengths of this team at all times, but especially without Deshaun Watson here. Uh, but they did pretty well against the Ravens. It might be one of the biggest strengths of this Jets squad. They held Lamar Jackson under 20 rushing yards. They held the Ravens total to, I believe, 63 rushing yards on 21 attempts. So definitely something to keep an eye on early. How will Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt get going? Jets longest, or I'm sorry, the Ravens longest run of the day was 10 yards mm -hmm. on Sunday. So uh, the Browns will have to work to get that big play going. For me, it's something I've been talking about repeatedly. It's Miles Garrett going against the left side of that Jets offensive line who gave up 12 combined pressures last week. Look up the Ravens pressure stats. Uh, Justin Houston had an absolutely huge day. He was living in the backfield and Joe Flacco, he can't move. That's actually the reason for my pick. I think the Browns win this one. I think it's relatively easy. 23 to 13. What about you, Ashley? Similar score differentiation here, Dan, between us. I'm going Browns 27-17, so just slightly off from yours. I'll give Kane York, let's say, one more field goal in there somehow in a two-point conversion or something. <laughs> but, yeah, I just think that the Browns on paper are better than this Jets team. I think the Browns defense is going to simply overpower this offense despite those two little miscommunications they had against the Panthers. Mary Kay, are you joining the 10-point club? Not the 10-point club. I am joining the victory club, though, and I think it's because uh, – I do think that the Browns defense uh, will have answers for the Jets offense. However, I do think uh, that there's a lot to be said for this Jets defense. I don't think they're going to make it easy. Like the Browns, they had some blown coverages last week, and they had about three plays that they were not happy with as well. Uh, so I, I just don't necessarily think it's going to be a very high-scoring game. I'm going with Browns 22-17. to 17. All right, there you go. We'll cover everything that happens on Sunday in the home opener and start getting you ready for the Steelers shortly after a quick turnaround to Thursday night at cleveland.com slash Browns.